There's currently a glitch in Bee Swarm where you can basically just get a bunch of free field corruption forever and no one even knows about it. Well, that's why in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is and why the heck you shouldn't do the science bear quest because yes, it involves the science bear quest. And before you think, oh, Bee Swarm guide, since this is a glitch, won't this get me banned? No, you know why? Because that's actually technically not a glitch. It's a feature on it actually added into the game himself. I just found a loophole in his system and now I'm abusing it. So yeah, in this video I will be explaining that. Also, this is like a big deal, like no one else knows about this from what I know, or at least realize that you could even do this. So, since I'm trading you guys this big secret, please just take a few seconds and subscribe, right? I'm keeping my part of the bargain, you guys just keep yours, because I do spend a while making these videos for you guys. And with that said, here we go, I'm going to explain it all now. Okay, so starting off, we obviously gotta go to Science Bear. So this involves Science Bear's new glitch drive quests. Now before you think, oh, I know exactly what's going on here. No, no, that's not what's going on. So at one point, first science bears quest you need to collect a bunch of duped tokens now the only problem with this is that if you're claiming this quest you most likely don't have vicious bee meaning you can't get duped tokens so in order to make this possible for everyone without digital bee on it made it so that whenever you have the quest claimed there's a random chance that science bear will manage to corrupt one of the random fields and will therefore spawn you duped tokens so you can actually complete the quest but here's the thing the entire point of this quest is to unlock the robo challenge but what about the people that played this Beesmus. What about the people like me, for example, who actually already unlocked the Robo Challenge? Who, in simple words, don't have to do these quests to unlock the challenge. And just as proof, I haven't done the Science Bear quest yet. I can still talk to Robo Bear and start the challenge, proving that this works. So what does all of this mean? Well, I was just looking at the quest, and then you guys might have guessed this by now, but then it hit me. There's no reason for me to actually complete the Science Bear quest. And if it randomly glitches random fields, which will basically just give me extra honey, why in the world would I bother completing it anyways? That's right, guys. If you actually played this Beesmus and already unlocked the Robo Challenge, this is some of the biggest news for you. So for starters, whatever you're doing, stop the Science Bear quests. Don't complete Science Bears corrupting the Glitch Drive quest. Because also keep in mind that once you complete this quest, you can't get it back. Meaning that once you're done with this quest, or if you've already completed it, I'm sorry to say, but kind of tough luck for you. Because that means that Science Bear will stop corrupting the fields, and therefore, there's no way for you to get this back. Now, given if you don't have the Robo Challenge unlocked already, then yes, sadly, you do have to complete this quest, and it's not worth the extra honey. So if you need to unlock Robo Bear still, sorry guys, you do still have to do that. But for everyone that currently has Robo Bear already unlocked, don't complete the Science Bear quest. And even though completing the quest does reward a Caustic Wax Star Jelly and Glitch Drive, it's honestly not worth it in my opinion. So enjoy free corruption on random fields for the rest of the game. Be sure to subscribe, because I'm one of the few YouTubers that's actually willing to give out game-breaking secrets that won't get you banned, and I'll see you guys later.